At night, the school building has taken on another in vibe entirely. It's dark and more spooky than a little spooky. Maybe it's because a student just died. <laughs> 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 you know? Darn straight. Someone literally died on site. Colonel Sanders just died like five minutes ago. Speaks softly. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> I was that actually caught me off guard. Those mashed potatoes you made in class today. Bef before we go on, I I want you to know they're not a great representation of my skills. I didn't even realize I was making them. They were amazing. Tasting them and reminded me of why I became so passionate about food to begin with. Colonel Sanders is getting choked up. Cooking is obviously important to him in a way that you find inspiring. The, the best? Now might be the perfect time to tell him you're developing feelings for him. No! No, 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 no. Yes, child? There's something I, uh, <clears throat> need to tell you. Van Van. F and Van Van. I'm about to beat Van Van. Whoa. I'm about to, t I'm about to run over Van Van. Oh goodness, that's a <laughs> man man that you're about to completely kill kill. Darn it. Whoa. Okay, anyways, let's move on. Van. Ow, yes, Van Van. I get that. Hold it right there. There's something I need to tell you first. Van Van X Colonel Sanders, hello, hello. Oh, jeez. Oh? You see, when I was just a boy, I had a dream that one day I would be the greatest chef in the world has ever seen. In the world that has, oh man. Whatever, okay. And every, and, and every day since, I have been working toward that dream. Day and night, never stopping, never resting. Also lifting lots of weights, like so many weights. Like it's amazing how many weights I'm lifting. You'd be amazed by how many weights this man lifts. We should follow our dreams with all our hearts, that our souls may grant them like wishes floating on a shooting star. Hey, no, you. Oh. The mess. <laughs> Shut up! I'm the one. Here to say inspirations to us ah! and be the star of the story. Whoa. Whoa. What in the world? <laughs> what oh, happened? No. <laughs> I think I think Darkenfall got in trouble for saying shut up. No, that was my sister. Oh my goodness, that scared me. Are we forgetting that your cooking literally killed a guy? Oh. You can't. You can't do that. <laughs> I, there's a ghost. I also saw you kill that guy. What was his name? I don't know. Senpai like Nagatoro-san over here. Somewhere in the <laughs> distance, you hear a long, sad sigh. Oh no. Forget him. I'm talking about me. Me, 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 me. I'm the hero. Hello? The mess? The- oh. <laughs> eh, The spork monster is here to fight a hero. This is legit- th mm. Um. <laughs> Alright, um, I think, uh, Van Van's cooking just did a little more than kill a guy, but it also spawned in a- creature. It's doing a little <laughs> trolling? <laughs> he- he- Um. A spork monster. Uh, just read. I, uh, <laughs> I think I left the thing. I think I left the thing door open. How dare you threaten me? Just as I was, uh, just as I was, uh, just as I was letting down my guard and connecting with another chef on emotional level. Be afraid. Be very afraid of me because I'm a monster. See, is he rhyming on purpose or is that just coincidence? But before you can discuss syntax any further, it's a turn. It's a turn-based fight sequence. Excuse me. Oh no! Oh, what will my. you do? Oh god! <laughs> what? What? 
What is this? I'm gonna be honest crazy. though, it's music slaps. It kinda does. Ooh. Attack or defend? I think uh, maybe defend. Uh, yeah. Defend Colonel Sanders. You decide to defend! Which defense will you choose? Tr trepidation. <laughs> you close your eyes tight, but then open one just enough to squint and see the spork monster across the battlefield. For some reason, this makes you feel more prepared for what comes next. Spork monster goes on the attack. Oh! What was that sound That's effect? Fine. Ew! Spitting, I yeah. guess. They spit hot gravy at you. You take one damage. That lot of good <laughs> that defense did. Alright, I guess attack then. I guess it's attack. Awful. You decide to go on the attack. Cook with low or chow down. I think we cook with, cook with love. love. Cook with love. Yeah. Cook with love does one damage. Spork monster won't forget this. <laughs> Spork monster focuses their mashed mind and draws an energy from Mother Earth itself. Hello? They can be more intimidating. This? How will you respond? I am in a fever dream right now. Yes, attack. Attack. Attack again. You decide to go on an attack. Which attack will you use? Cook with love! It does one damage! <laughs> Spork monster is no quitter. Buffed up and ready to rumble. They go on the attack once again. Spork monster use ulti ulti uh, utility tensile. I don't even. Utilitensile. A utilitensile. Exactly. Oh. Thanks for the save. You take two damage from the attack. If you take much more damage, you're not going to survive the battle. I guess defend then. No attack. Keep attack. Maybe it won't survive either. Cook cook with love. No. no go wait. Is it possible? To I, I couldn't go back. Oh. Cook with love. I might have killed you, sorry. Spork monster is oozing cheese sauce onto the lot of the quad. I wonder who is gonna have to clean that up. Feeling vulnerable, Spork monster prepares for its ultimate attack. Rounded edge. Vile, no, no. your rate of dare stops here. Colonel Sanders summons the energy of a thousand, thousand <laughs> chickens. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Bot by power punch. Bot pie power punch pinch does 10 damage. Spork monster is defeated. You saved me. An injured spork monster spews steam into the night. Oh, forget mercy. Finish him. Or spare the wretched. Finish him. Spare. Oh no. Your uh, act of kindness. Maybe, I don't know. Meeny, meeny, mighty, mighty. I'm gonna flip him for the move. You manage to tamp down your disgust at the slight of this gnarly beast long enough to realize that he's still a living creature with a pure soul who deserves your pity, not your wrath. Be gone, beast! And I don't, and don't you dare come back for a follow-up encounter tomorrow. I won't forget this, and I certainly won't be back like you said. <laughs> You'll now gain an ally or something, I guess. Imagine, what if it just comes back and just like... It beats the- it beats- it beats the- the, the five- the- the fork knife monster? Like, I- I don't even know what to expect anymore at this point. And like, the span of like 10 minutes, we had a guy die from eating like, uncooked octopus, and now a spork monster in the middle of the night. It was uncooked squid, I think. Squid. <laughs> octopus I, didn't, I don't think it specified, it was just a tentacle. It was just a tentacle. Now that's really sus. The defeated <laughs> I think monster awesome. left behind a special item. It appears to at first to be a cookbook, but upon closer inspection, it's so much more. It's a book of magic spells. Book of magic spells. Check it on the cover. Exactly. You open the cover and find a library card tucked inside. The last name to have signed it out is Borko. Hmm. Borgo. That name sounds strangely familiar. Your blood is pumping as you stand in the quiet of the night, holding the mysterious book in your hands. As you come down from your battle buzz, you realize that your final attack has left you completely depleted. The world around you begins to fade away. Without any energy to keep your eyes open, darkness overtakes you. 
The image of Colonel Sanders flashes before your eyes as you fall asleep. Hey, this is the room that I lost immediately in. <laughs> Good times. He must have helped you get home. In your tired state, you don't know if you could have made it without him. What a guy. You want to thank him, but you don't have the strength to utter a single word. You feel your covers being pulled up over you as you are tucked in tightly. Good night, my colonel. In your dreams, you're together with Colonel Sanders. For some reason, Sprinkles is also there, instructing your love. Dr dreams are weird, bro. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my ah, my eyes. <laughs> the frames on that. You awake <laughs> on day two and attempt to process the wild visions you had. Were they memories or premonitions? You lie in bed and stare at the ceiling, thinking about the secret you discovered while tasting Colonel Sanders cooking yesterday. You can't believe he really used redacted and then there and then there was a secret colonel sanders is an scp <laughs> and then there was that secret ingredient that colonel sanders went ahead and told you outright not much of a secret huh it's probably just because he already trusts you so much sure that makes sense we'll go with that you meet up with your bestie in front of the school before you can tell her about the encounter with the spork monster, which she would definitely <laughs> bat you down with because she thinks you were definitely on something, could have been anything, she launches into a story of her own. Oh, oh sweet I know this might sound a little strange, but I think I might be, um... I swear to goodness, if she falls in love with the living oven, I'm going to have a seizure right now <laughs> on my... Fight me, robots are hot. I think I might like Clank. Yes, sir. I'm definitely <laughs> like Clank. I am literally on the ground of my bedroom. Give me a second. I need to get up. It's uh. <laughs> a rope. I know that. It's a freaking. It's a freaking stone. Who are you, SpongeBob? Yes. I was. I was just joking. I didn't mean it. What? What is that ship name? Mank? Clearium? Clearium. <laughs> like him? Like, 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 like? I know. It sounds like it's moving too fast, but there's something about him. I like him. Like, like him. That's. Insane. What if he disappears? <laughs> we got to talking Beep after out. class. He's actually a totally sweet guy. <laughs> Not only that, but he's really smart. He told me all kinds of stories about Colonel Sanders. Did you know that Colonel Sanders was the most popular kid in high school? Bro. Not relatable. No, but that does make complete sense. <laughs> Not relatable. <laughs> yeah, it happens but that. he was so popular that he was voted prom king in a school he didn't even go to. Oh? It was also... The convertible the that he himself rode <laughs> at the front of the upcoming <laughs> parade. Colonel Sanders turns into a convertible. Huh? Oh, <laughs> what? Uh, oh, oh my goodness! I'm thinking maybe something got lost in the pressure co or in pressure cooker language translation. There, honestly, maybe. <laughs> Either way, maybe it'd be best. If He's a pressure cooker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, oh my goodness, I just, yeah, yeah, Clank is a pressure cooker, cool, cool, this is fine. Either way, maybe it'd be best if you took it slow with this new boy, like I am with Colonel Sanders. You and Colonel Sanders, the coolest guy in school, most famous student to ever attend University of Cooking School Acad Academy for Learning, you're a yes, thing sir. now. Well, we, uh, <laughs> definitely connected. On like a spiritual level yesterday for your information uh, <laughs> a... sure you did you're great why wouldn't he be into you i guess <laughs> i guess i don't really know maybe I'm laughing at the implication that you and colonel sanders might be a thing is definitely not cool you are great you have an idea about how to prove that your love is real well if he's not into me why did he tell me one of his secret ingredients? Chum. That's chum! Chum. Yes, sir. <laughs> no. 
However, uh, is, don't... is Colonel Sanders secretly Plankton? That would be the best reveal of all time. <laughs> I would go to KFC. Mr. Krabs. If I, you think if I Colonel, this... the, ri the rivalry between KFC and the Krabby Patty. This, this needs to go viral now. I need to see fan art of Colonel Sanders versus Mr. Krabs. However, you don't tell her that you don't have a second ingredient, too, which you discovered on your own. Your bestie's eyes light up. Secret ingredient? Yeah, I just said that. A secret ingredient. Is there a dramatic echo in here? Or... Miriam checks to make sure you're alone before continuing. Dot dot dot. Da, 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 da. So this summer, while I was on vacation with my family, a lovely man approached me in the botanical garden where I was wandering. Hello. The situations in this like this novel is just interesting. This can't be good. He told me all about his passion for spices, secret spices. Oh, sweet mercy! The man even gave me some to show me what he meant. He said he was a. It was a powder created from super duper rare dried flower petals, and then if I did him a big favor, I could have some of my own. Man, sounds sounds sus. Honestly, imagine you're just it wandering does. in the botanical gardens as anybody does, and you just walk bro, up what, to some random man. What favors did I do for a strange man in a garden to get some <laughs> spices? I, I don't know. <laughs> You know, you're just what would your you business. do for some spices? I don't know what I would do for some spices. I would probably have a claw like bar. Please, Miriam, don't, don't tell me. So I, so I filled my suitcase with them and brought them home. He was so nice. He even met me at the gate when I arrived. Later, when I cooked with them, a very strange feeling came over me. And the flavor was unlike anything I'd ever tasted. I... I think you're being very liberal with the meaning of spices here. What does that even mean? Well, I wouldn't be very concerned well, about them, would I? I whatever, it, whatever. Anyhow, we both share an interest in cooking, so we stay in touch, you know? Like pen pals. I bet he would love to know more about new spices. Oh, no. Well, I'm definitely not supposed to share Colonel Sanders' secret recipe. And besides, I only know the one ingredient. So, I doubt it would be much use to anyone. Please, please, please! It would mean the world to me. No one has to know it came from you or from Colonel Sanders. True. What do you think? Should you protect Colonel Sanders' secret or share it with your bestie? I think we should keep his secret. Because what if it's not, like, like the game's alluding that this person might be Colonel Sanders, but what if we kept the secret and Colonel Sanders is like, good on you. Uh. I think um, keep the secret. I don't know, I'm your best friend. Yeah, but I'm anything. Me. I'm your bestie. You know I don't know. What? You know what? <laughs> Shut up, bestie. You, you fell in love with a oh. pressure cooker. If you quickly think of a fake ingredient name, I don't know, how about... It was an Eye of Newt! Jeez, Jesus, freaking, we're playing Minecraft now. I know, it sounds like some kind of witch's potion, but what can you do? Her eyes light up, imagining such a thing, and you figure that you've satisfied her curiosity and she'll move on. However, she immediately turns around and does some thumb typing on her phone that you can't quite see. That's probably not good. Before you can ask her to confirm that she was definitely NOT texting secrets to other people, you're interrupted. A wind rushes in. Cherry Blossom's petals fill the air. Hello. Oh god. <laughs> it's Colonel Sanders. He's arriving at school. Scan back and admire his majestic glory or run to him. I would stand back because I feel like if you run to him, you'd probably get hit by the horse or something. <laughs> <laughs> we'll Probably die. will be the second student death. <laughs> Colonel Sanders' horse is truly a thing of beauty. Without ever acknowledging that he's being watched, he does a short horse dance before dismounting with a flourish. He then slaps the beautiful creature gently on his rear, sending it running free into the countryside. Was it a was it a wild <laughs> horse? 
Or is it just so <laughs> yeah, I, would know? <laughs> I have no idea. You are struck by the sight of him that you lose the ability to speak coherently. Oh, let's see what dialogue I get to say. Darn. Oh. What? I didn't realize anyone was watching. Don't worry, he knows his way home. You attempt to compliment Colonel Sanders, but the words don't come out exactly right. What a horseful beaut you have. I mean, what a horseful beaut you have. Dang it, <laughs> that's what I just said. Being a good friend, Miriam attempts to cover for you. Oh, child. It's <laughs> really nervous around people that they like. Well, thanks, Miriam. Oh, child just really gets nervous around people they like. I want her to look, oh, child. <laughs> <laughs> You know what, Miriam? Why don't you? Why don't you just go cook with that eye of newt now? Like you, you just what? <laughs> this is not helping. Uh, I mean, they got food poisoning and we're up all night. It was gruesome. You should have seen it. Wait. What are you talking about? Wait, is that why we were hallucinating about the darn spork monster? Was it all food poisoning? That would be so sad. But it would make a lot more sense. She gives you a wink and a smile to ask to, to say, situation handled. Can't blame a girl for trying. With that, Colonel Sanders disappears into his school, leaving you and Miriam to follow. When you enter the classroom, you can see that your two rivals, Ashley and Van Van, are really doing something bad. By the way they're hiding, you know it must be really bad. Just give it a second. Newt! Wow! <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh my god. For a second, all, all I newt. caught was newt. <laughs> wow. I am newt. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Hello. It appears to, at first to be a cookbook, but upon closer inspection, oh my goodness. Oh, Malachi going ham in the background. I'm being called. Uh oh. I feel like after we get past this part, might be a decent place to stop. Why do I say that, you might ask? It's because uh, I forgot to go full screen. Uh, oh. It also stopped responding. <laughs>